Unveiling the surface, understanding on the surface of it. Hello and welcome, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that often pops up in English conversations and texts, on the surface of it. This expression might seem straightforward at first glance, but it holds deeper meanings and uses that can greatly enrich your understanding and usage of the English language. So, let's peel back the layers together. On the surface of it, is a phrase used to indicate what is immediately visible or apparent without delving into deeper details or underlying truths. It's similar to saying, at first glance, or initially. This expression suggests that there might be more information, complexities, or nuances beyond what is immediately obvious. To fully grasp how, on the surface of it, is used, let's look at some examples. 1. On the surface of it, the deal seems fair, but I think we need to look at the fine print more closely. This sentence suggests that while the deal appears to be good initially, there could be hidden details or conditions that are not immediately apparent. 2. He seems happy on the surface of it, but I know he's been going through a tough time lately. Here. The phrase is used to contrast the visible, outward appearance of happiness with the reality of the person's situation, which might be more complicated or difficult. This expression is particularly useful in contexts where you want to express skepticism or signal that there is more to consider than what is immediately apparent. It can be used in academic discussions to introduce an initial observation before delving into a deeper analysis. In everyday conversations to express a preliminary judgment or first impression that might be subject to change upon further investigation. In business or legal discussions to caution against accepting terms, deals, or situations without thorough examination. Be clear about the context in which you're using the phrase. Make it evident that you're indicating an initial observation or impression. Follow it up with your deeper observations, analysis, or the reasons for your skepticism. This contrast can enrich your argument or narrative. Use it sparingly. Relying too heavily on this phrase can make your communication seem indecisive or overly cautious. I hope this exploration of, on the surface of it, has illuminated not just its meaning but also its versatility and depth in the English language. Remember, the beauty of language learning lies in uncovering these layers of meaning and learning how to use them effectively in your communication. Until next time, keep digging deeper beyond the surface in your language learning journey. Happy learning, everyone!